favourite composer. My favourite period in musical history is the Renaissance. It wasn't always, but as I've grown older, it's where I go for my musical listening. But if, if I have one musical hero, it used to be Mozart. I started listening to Mozart at the age of eight um, and loved him all through my teens and twenties, but my musical hero of this moment is Handel. Why? I spoke earlier about the importance of the marriage of spirituality with sensuality, something we just seem to have forgotten about. Spirituality these days has to be something that's so squeaky clean. Yeah, and if you're a Christian, of course, Christ wasn't squeaky clean. He was very outspoken. And if he could attract 12 young men to drop everything and follow him, he had to have some sensuality about him. These are very, very important things. And I feel that Handel as a composer, just before the age of the Enlightenment, before things started to go awry a bit, right there at the pinnacle of the Baroque era, when um, the major and minor key system was still only about 150 years old, it was fresh and new, and he had totally mastered it, as had Bach. Bach, of course, had stayed put in Germany and let the influences come to him. Handel was more hip, more get up and go, more of a risk taker. Um, and I'd love to have known him, not as a grumpy old German living in, in um, whatever street it is in the West End of London, but as a young man in Italy. You know, I'd love to have had a few bottles of Chianti with him and had a good old chat about life and music. Um, gosh, what an amazing composer. Um, you know, I can't think of a composer's music so more full of the Holy Spirit but more full of human life as well. That's why I love him.